Yo, 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 it's your boy Swag, and I'm back with another one. Today I'll be talking about my song with Chief Keith, NWA Freestyle, one of the oldest songs of Chief Keith on the internet. With your boy Swag, a milestone for me because it's with the motherfucking goat. So, your boy Swag, he was trying to be a rapper. He was in the studio going crazy. You want to check out how I rap? I got an older song on my fucking YouTube page. Um, it was done on Boise recently. You know what I'm saying? Just fucking around, threw some shit together. You can go back and check that out. But your boy used to rap. So um, my cousin had met DJ Ken when he was walking down the street on Michigan, on, on like 60th of Michigan, going to the corner store to Wallows and shit. So he come in the, he come in the crib like, yo, I just met this Chinese guy who make music. Ken is not Chinese, he's Japanese. Just want to throw that out there. But he said I met a Chinese guy and he do music and he gave me his number. And he was like, he bought some weed from me. Then he made a little joke like, I don't even know if he was the police laughing and shit. I'm like, all right, whatever. So I hit Ken up. So. I hit Ken up, man. Ken kick it off quick, like, you know what I'm saying? He bam, bam. This is how my studio go. You got any music? Um, I record here. Who else? I'm like, all right, that's cool. Whatever the case may be, I'm trying to get in this bitch and make some music. So, um, me and Ken got along good, so I was coming back. So, over time, as I came back during the week, he end up um, just telling me to come back whenever I want to, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, cool. So at this point, I guess I've been on him about like a week or two or something like that. It wasn't, even, it wasn't that long because he had just came around the hood, but we connected, you know what I'm saying? He seemed like the um, type of person I was, so I guess he figured I was cool. So he was playing music, uh, Chief Keith. And he was like, he wanted me to meet Keith, but I ain't never meet Keith because we always missed each other at the studio. So one day he came to the studio and I met him. Uh, he told me his rap name, I told him mine. So we like, all right, whatever the case may be. So at the time, I think I was recording a song and he wanted to record a song. So I went on ahead and let him do his song, whatever the case may be. So over time, we were both just coming to the studio like, I might come and he might be there or I might be there when he come like we were just catching up with each other and um, we did about like three or four songs together um, one is out the other three is pull up I can get them but you know maybe you can get one I'm gonna try to see if I can get to them um, I haven't tried to put none of that music out because it wasn't ever meant for it to come out. The only reason how this NWA freestyle came out because they did the um the bio of the movie. So I'm like, damn man, Keep Do got a song he rapped on that beat. So I was just throwing it out there for the fans because the fans are always saying we want Keith music, especially this one particular song. Like I get one more email about Homeboys is off with your motherfucking head. I don't have homeboys. You want homeboys, you gotta talk to two people. That's Keith and that's Ken. You want the fucking homeboys. I don't have homeboys. I only got the songs that I did with Keith. Now, if you want those songs, you gotta wait. I'm thinking about putting one up now that I'm talking about it. I just gotta reach out and get it. And then you can have it. But until then, it's no more. But anyway, so, um... So this particular day, me, 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 I'm with me and Ken was at the studio this particular day, and we just cool. And it was early in the morning, cause I wake up and I just go to the studio, cause me and Ken was basically past the, the just I come and he record for me relationship. Like we moved to like friends, like we was genuine friends, and I hung out with Ken. You know what I'm saying? So I got up and went to the studio. Like we ain't even got to be recording. We could just be chilling, kicking it. So. I went to the studio, and it's about like 10 or 11. A motherfucker, hey kid, hey kid. Tyson go run to the window, <laughs> looking out the window, can't even see, but 
Well, you, he can see a little bit, but you only can see like his nose sticking out that motherfucker. He looking like, <laughs> he probably could look down. I don't know. But we like, oh, that's Keith. So he go let Keith in. So I go downstairs and oh, I let Keith in. And I never trusted Tyson ass. I never trusted that nigga. That nigga ended up biting me. In like 2013 or 14, Tyson bit me, y'all. I was so scared of that motherfucker, too. He finally bit me. But anyway, I go let him in. Me and Keith come up the stairs. Ken, you got the dog? Make sure you got him. So we hurry up and go in the room and shit. Tyson fucked that crib up on CSF in Michigan. Tyson bit a hole in every fucking thing. Like the couch we used to record on and shit. Like over time, that motherfucker was chewed the fuck up. Tyson, man, Tyson ass was a killer. So uh, he come in the studio. So I'm, in my head, I'm thinking like, why the fuck this nigga ain't at school? Like he got his school uniform on, but this nigga not at that school. This nigga's at the studio with me and Ken. Like this nigga should be in school. That's what I was thinking. You know what I'm saying? But each his own. He, I got this song. We like, okay, what is it? So he throwing the beat. So I'm old school. So I'm thinking it's like an NWA, you know what I'm saying, remake. But at the time, another cat had made a remake to the song, which I forgot the name of it. I'm going to put it in the description. If you've been following me, you know that anything I miss or if it's an article or anything, check that description. I'm going to put it in there. If I forgot to say it, check the description. I'm going to put it in there. So... I'm going to find a song and put it in there. But anyway, he did the, he did a remix to that guy's song of the N.W.A. song. But I named it the N.W.A. Freestyle because that's what I know the beat of. So, he throw the beat on. So, he get to rapping his shit. You know what I'm saying? He wrote it at school. So, he get to recording it. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So he asked me, you want to get on there? So I'm like, yeah, I'll jump on that motherfucker. So, you know, me, I was a Wayne here, so I always freestyle. Ken used to always, you come to my studio, you got to write. You got to write. You know, so at this point, I was trying to get into the writing stage, but I never really fully made it to just writing. It's always like, write a few bars, then freestyle. I never... Really went off the top to the end with the freestyle. I always felt it better to have some type of intro to fall back on, like, what it is I'm sticking to as far as, like, my flow and how I'm going to deliver. So I got to, you know what I'm saying? I got to come up with it and then write it down so I won't forget it. But anyway, I just, I'm straight from the gutter streets where the gutter meet. Then the words exchange. They show actually by busting heat like that was like freestyle. Everything from now on was like freestyle. So bam, I do the song. So Keith like he fuck with it or whatever. So I'm like cool. So we went on ahead and pressed that joint. And that's how we came up with that shit. You know, uh Keith always been a superstar. That nigga been a superstar in the hood for a long time, like don't let niggas fool you. Like, niggas was pulling up showing Keith 16 when he was young as hell. And he had always had all the females screaming his name, Keith, Keith, Keith. Like, that nigga been a superstar. Now he's a fucking goat at this rap shit. So I guess when you want something, you just got to stick to it. You know what I'm saying? Did I think he was going to be that big? I can't say I did at the time. I thought I was going to be big, but it's like... This nigga is the fucking GOAT, you know what I'm saying? I seen he had talent back in the day, but to actually see that shit happen, like that shit was amazing to be a part of it, to have one of the older songs with Keith, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's a milestone for me, you know? People get to hear my verse. I know somebody probably posted that shit and took my verse off. I should copyright you motherfucker, cause I'm on my shit now. I'm on my shit, but anyway, this your boy Swag. That's the story of me and Keith NWA freestyle song. Um, I do got more. You know, I was rapping, I was interviewing, and I was behind the scenes. I got a lot more to tell. But it's your boy Swag. I'm out.